All right, we are here at the Russell Reunion Convention uh, with Stevie Richards. And uh, Stevie, in two weeks, uh, this is going to be coming to our neck of the woods up in Toronto. And for those that have never experienced Russell Reunion, why don't you tell us a bit about uh, th this whole convention and just how big it's grown? Well, it's uh, grown over, I think it's been around for at least two or three years. And it's just great. You, from any generation, no matter what kind of wrestling fan you are, whether you're a fan of somebody from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and even up until today, or a combination of all those together, you'll see somebody you remember somebody you're a huge fan of and maybe you'll meet somebody too as well because they do shows here for future in our generation of wrestling superstars they have a legend show I don't know if they'll have yeah. that stuff in Toronto but you get to see pretty much everything it's sort of like the uh, independent version of WrestleMania access but you still get to see the WWE WWF WCW NWA stars all that stuff easy ECW too. <laughs> yeah, well, you bring up ECW there. I'm curious of like when you're meeting fans, is there a particular era of Stevie Richards that you are people bring up the most memories, whether it be ECW, you're running WCW, right to censor. I mean, what, is there a specific era people latch onto with Stevie Richards? There's, you know, it's a mixture. Obviously, the Blue World Order to BWO, that's, sure. that's the number one thing people seem to remember. I'm always amazed by that because it really is a piece of nostalgia for a lot of people and then the people that haven't seen it go back and see how fun it was and what we've done i don't go back and watch it because i really wasn't that good of a worker back then <laughs> i'm still not but that's uh hey fifth finley's wife over there hi you want your coffee i'm holding the coffee for fifth finley's wife uh oh can't uh can't keep her waiting for coffee <laughs> well this been back over here uh, I'm curious. I have, I have so many talents, as you can tell. Oh, yeah. He's a very versatile man here. Now, uh, you're wearing your T4 shirt, and I, I follow some of your stuff online. And, I mean, for yeah. people that have only seen the wrestler Stevie Richards, I mean, very, very tech-savvy tech guy and stuff that uh, is over my head. Tell us a bit about T4 here. Well, T4 stands for Tech Today, Tech Tomorrow, and I, I do it under my real name, Michael Manna, because uh, I wanted the show to stand or fall on its own and not kind of latch on sure. to the wrestling uh, stuff. But uh, basically everything in technology. We also have fitness videos that we do, full tutorials where we can teach you how to work out. It's completely free. And, you know, we do a podcast. We have an iPhone app. We have an Android app. We have all sorts of stuff going on. We don't have a cool camera like this guy, though. That's a, that's a future upgrade for me. Being someone uh, on the cutting edge of technology, I've, I've got to ask your opinion, okay? We're currently going through the transition to the Facebook timeline. Are you a fan of this change to the timeline? Well, the... the the thing with technology, especially when you're talking about, say, Facebook, Twitter, Apple, all these huge companies, it really doesn't matter what we like. <laughs> They're still going to feed us the Facebook timeline. They're still going to. I'm interested with the cover photos and all that stuff. On a note about Facebook, when people complain about Facebook, they can. Oh, a running by New Jack. It's called bromance. <laughs> you just headbutted me so hard. New Jack, we're on the air here in Canada. Are you wanted in Canada? I'm just checking. Do you have any warrants out there? I went to Canada. Can you get into Canada? I went by way of Niagara Falls. I had to swim. That's the best way to go. This, a very good this, this is a star studded. Uh, yeah, he had butted me so hard right now. I oh, think I just see, it's like I don't see the light, I see a bunch of stars. Anyway, um, what was I saying? We were talking about Facebook I was and up something very profound about Facebook. I know, Facebook. I know. When I people complain about free services like Facebook, they need to understand that. Facebook isn't the product. We're the product. We're basically, Facebook is selling our information and doing all this stuff. So when they want to change the timeline or do anything or whatever, it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to delete their Facebook account. People that say they are lying, they're not going to do it, and we're just going to have to put up with the changes. Where can people uh, get more information on a... Uh, on a negative note like that. God, I sound no. like a conspiracy theorist. No, not at all. Not a conspiracy theorist. Actually, there was another question. I am, though. <laughs> I did want to ask you about, uh, you know, we always see that ECW has been a promotion that, I mean, even to this day, you still see reunion shows. I mean, what is it about this organization that has, has kept that fan base going? I mean, it's been 11 years now. I think, well, I know that we have a certain kind of passion and camaraderie that doesn't really exist in the wrestling business today. You can sense it with the way that people rally around the product. And even though we may have our issues internally, and you know, not everybody's gonna get along when it comes time to defend the ECW legacy or what we stood for, which has very little to do with ECW and has to do with just having a passion for professional wrestling, 
you know, we come together like that. And that's, you know, reunion shows, it's kind of done to death. I'm, I'm, I'm on the next one, yeah. but I still think it's been done to death. I do think there is something to be said to have just the guys on the show and present that passion for the product and pass it along to the younger generation. Well, we look forward to uh, seeing you hopefully up in Toronto for the next Wrestle Reunion convention. So. I'm like Dennis Stamp. I'm not booked right now. I'm sure, I'm sure they're going to pull some strings and get you up there. And where can people get more information? Uh, check out the podcast and uh, all the stuff you're doing. Well, you go to T4T, the number four, show.com. It's on the back of your Solid marketing there. 40-year-old man with a ponytail named Stevie. That's a 41-year-old man named Tommy right there. It's kind of silly, isn't it? You don't look a day over 33. Well, thank you very much. I wish you said 32, but uh, you can go there. You can follow me at Michael Manna. That's my real name, too, and awesome. that's it. Well, thank you very much for your time. Follow him at Michael Manna and demand him coming up to Toronto April 13th through 15th.